Please turn with me to the book of Isaiah chapter 8, verse number 18. I would like it read from the Good News Translation. Much, I mean, uh, Isaiah 8, verse 18. Please give it to me from the Good News Translation. Why that has been opened, I read from the King James. It says, Behold, I and the children whom the Lord has given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts, which dwelleth among Zion. The good news says, thank you so much for bringing it up. Thank you. The good news says, thank you, Jesus. Here I am with the children the Lord has given me. The Lord Almighty, whose throne is in Mount Zion, has sent us as living messages to the people of Israel. This morning, the Lord said to me, in this week of ultimate victory, we should lift our children to him. We should come to him with our children. We should pray for our children. Those who are privileged to have grandchildren, you carry them all along. No matter where they are, no matter how things are, the Lord say, is a command. He said, come to me with your children in prayer. He said, here I am with the children the Lord has given me. I am with them. He said, the Lord Almighty, whose throne is on Mount Zion, has sent us, has sent us as living messages to the, to the people of Israel. So what it means is that I am a message to this generation. Each of my children, each of your children, each of your grandchildren, each of them is a living message to this generation. That's interesting. Some of your children are a message written with the hand of God. Some people can preach a message. Some people are a message themselves. Somebody can be a message to a generation of women, to men, a message of faith, a message of holy living, a message of prosperity, a message of excellence, a message of victory, a message of leadership. This boy, this girl is a message herself, a message himself. I want us to pray. He said, I, I am with the children whom which the Lord has given me and all of us are messages. So shall we begin to pray? Lord, every child you brought into this world through me as a man, through me as a woman, even the children that you adopted, Okay, the children that you inherited, every one of them shall be a living, not a bad message. You know, some people can be a bad example, some are good example, some are bad message, message of destruction, message of corruption. But some, your children, rather all of them, shall be messages that will inspire people to draw closer to God. Messages that will, uh, that will be a witness, that will be a witness, that are living proof of the faithfulness of God, of the standard of God, of the ways of God. Shall we begin to pray? Please omit yourself and begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come with Father, God, in the name of Jesus, oh, Father, I come before you, too. Thank you, Father God, that you are here, Father God, oh, Father, that you are Father, I am here, Lord, with the children that you have given to me, Lord. In the name of Jesus, oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Father God. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy upon my children. Have mercy upon my grandchildren, Father. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, <laughs> 
Glory to God. Please turn with me to the book of Psalm 112 from verse 1 to 2 from the New Living Translation. The New Living Translation of Psalm 112, verse 1 and verse 2. I'm reading from the King James. It says, Blessed be God. I need it in the New Living Translation. Hallelujah. Thank you, precious Father. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. He says, Praise the Lord. How joyful are those who fear the Lord and delight in obeying his ways, his commands. How joyful are they? How blessed are they? How happy are they that fear the Lord, that delight in obeying his commands? Look at verse 2. Verse 2, very interesting. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. He said, they are children. All right? The first person describing that verse is me. It is you. It is you. You fear the Lord. You delight in the ways of God. Wonderful. Now hear what God says about your children. He said, their children will be successful everywhere. Their children will be successful everywhere. The entire generation of godly people will be blessed. So as a woman, as a man, hear me, your generation shall not bring you shame. He said the entire generation of godly women, godly men will be blessed. He said their children will be successful everywhere. King James says the seed, the, the, they said his seed shall be mighty, shall be mighty upon the earth, shall be mighty upon the earth. Anywhere they go, you know, whenever we are praying for the continents of the world, don't make light of it. The Lord said to me, as you are watering this continent, as you are watering this continent, some of us here, some of us that are doing this prayer, our children shall be mighty in these nations we are praying for. You don't know how the wind of love will blow, blow your children or your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, anywhere they have put their feet because their mom, their grandmom, great-grandmom labored in prayer for those nations. Their father, great-grandfather, great-grandfather labored in prayer over those nations. As they put their feet there, they shall be successful. He said their children will be successful everywhere, everywhere. Anywhere they put their head, they shall succeed. Anywhere where they go, they shall succeed. In their health, in their business, in their career, in their marriage, in their finance, in their ministry, in their calling, they shall be successful everywhere. And the generation of godly people will be blessed. Shall we begin to pray? Hallelujah. Please unmute and pray. This is for you and your children. My father, I give thanks to you. In the name of Jesus, Gossam, I thank you. I give you glory, Father. That you go on on your head. This is your father in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God. Thank you for your that my prophetic word this morning. Will be successful that is everything directly in the name to the of future generations. I speak that success Lord upon them, upon the generation that we have, upon the mercy in this family, Father, upon the mighty name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, and this family, upon the bones of Stamp and Pound, Father, I speak that success Lord in the name of Jesus, that they will be successful in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, Lord, that, that every authority, Lord God, will bow and receive the mighty name of the 
mighty name we pray glory be to god this is amazing this is amazing can, can you turn with me to the book of isaiah in chapter 14 verse number 24 isaiah 14 24 he says the lord of hosts has sworn saying surely as i have thought as i have thought so shall it come to pass and as i have proposed so shall it stand i hope you are aware you are aware that your children did not just jump into this world. Their life were planned before they came. They came as a well thought through, you know, um, plan, program, project. Every one of your child is a project in the hand of God. <laughs> planned before they came. He said, I know the thought that I think towards you, towards each of those children. I know the plan, I know the thought, plans of good and not of evil, to give each of, the, of, of them a future and a glorious end. This is God's plan. He says, surely, surely, as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. And as I have proposed, so shall it stand. The devil shall not prevail over them. I want you to single them out this morning and prophesy over their, of, over their life over their life. Remember the Bible says even in Genesis, I mean, uh, Jeremiah chapter one, verse four to five, God was saying to Jeremiah, say, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Before you were established, your legs formed, your ear, your head, your neck, your tummy, before your life was fully formed, I already knew you. I knew you and I already sanctified you and ordained you as a prophet unto the nations. So some of those sons and daughters, they may not be living right right now. They may not be in the right, in the right, in the right direction right now. But God has a plan over them. In Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, he says, You are my you know, we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, created in Christ Jesus. All right, for good works that we are ordained long before. They we are born. And that is what we are talking about. Every one of those, your children, they are created with a vision. They were created with a plan, with a purpose, which God has, has before ordained that they should walk in them. So I want you as a father, as a mother, as a granddad or grandmom to begin to prophesy, Lord, the purpose of yours, your thought, your thought, your plan, your purpose, your, your, your good intention, that which is written, documented over this world, over this world. God, hallelujah, my father. Hallelujah. Father, for glory. Father, my God, my friend, oh God, whatsoever you have proposed concerning my children, must come. Oh, Father, we give you glory and honor that over 2020, you knew them, but you knew my children. If I Thank you. 
Jesus mighty name we pray. Mark chapter 11 from verse 22. Mark 11 from verse 22. Glory be to God. He said, and Jesus answered and said unto them, have faith in God. Have faith in God. For verily, verily, as for verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in the heart, but shall believe that those things which he has, which he, which he said shall come to pass, he, he shall have whatsoever he said. He shall have whatsoever he said. Say, therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that God, believe that ye receive them. Whatsoever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Ye shall have them. Ye shall have them. He said in that 23, he says, be thou, if, 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 says, for whatsoever, so for whosoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, and shall not doubt in his, in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he say in prayer, in decree, in petition, in travel, in intercession, shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. So I want us to believe God. Believe God. Believe God for your children. Believe God for their life. Believe God for their marriage. Believe God for their breakthrough in their career. Believe God for their being saved. Some of your children may not be saved now. Some of them may have walked away from the path you introduced them to. But the Lord is saying, I should tell somebody this morning, do not give up. Do not give up. Keep speaking. Keep prophesying. He says, if thou will believe, thou shalt see whatsoever you have said. If thou wilt believe, I will not doubt, thou shalt see what you, you, have, you have spoken. So that is a message to you. I want you to begin to thank God. Lord, I thank you for this daughter of mine, for this son of mine. I thank you because that which I have desired, it shall come to pass. I, first of all, I want you to begin to desire something for your children and begin to declare it. What do you desire for them? Now, what do you desire for them? If God gives you the power to make them how you want, to give them the future you want, what will you desire? What will you want? What will you do? Shall we begin to declare that? Begin to declare what you want to see in the life of those children that God brought into this world through you. In the name of Jesus, God, I stand with you. Lord, <laughs> 
Jesus mighty now we pray. Glory be to God. Talk quickly with me. Time is running to Isaiah chapter 65 from verse 22. Isaiah 65 from verse 22. Thank you, Father. Isaiah 65 from verse 22. Are you there? Glory to God. I read from here. He said, they shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree, for as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and my elect shall long enjoy, shall long enjoy the work of their hands. He says, they shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble, nor bring forth for trouble. Please, can you give it to me in a New Living Translation? New Living Translation. Verse 23, precisely. Verse 23, New Living Translation. Glory to God. He said, they will not walk in vain, and their children will not be doomed to misfortune. Your children, your children, your grandchildren, the Bible said, they will not be doomed to misfortune. He said, for they are they, for they are people blessed by the Lord and their own children too, and their children too will be blessed. King James says, stay on this New Living Translation. I like that. King James says, they shall not labor in vain. That is you and me. We shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. Your children shall not be children that cause trouble. Children that bring sorrow and pain. No, none of your children shall bring you pain, shall bring you sorrow and trouble. Not one, not one of them. All right. He says, he says here, he said, thank you, Lord Jesus, for they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord and their offspring with them. So let's begin to declare your children shall not be doomed for misfortune. Nothing misfortune, nothing sorrowful shall be the story of each of your children. Shall we declare that? In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you because my children will not be doomed, will not be I give you honor, Osiam, and Amman, that over to Israel, I will not work in vain, Father. In new Osiam, in the name of Jesus, my children will not be doomed to misfortune. In the name of Jesus, they will not, Osiam, no weapon formed against my children shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, to over to Israel, they will be blessed by you, Father. In the name of Jesus, Osiam, my children will not be blessed of God. In the name of Jesus, Oh, Father, I And yes, we are I because our children are blessed upon my children, Lord. That Lord, they will be selfish. They will be able to take care of the In the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, that Father, they will commit in service. They will commit in Jesus' In the name of Finally, finally, I want us to pray this prayer in a in a with that's the last prayer. We're going to use it to tie it together. You know, the by in the book of Galatians, chapter 4, from verse 19 to 20. Galatians chapter 4, 19 to 20. Now, Paul was writing concerning his spiritual children. But some of us here will have spiritual children, sure, 
as well as biological children. He said, my little children of whom I travel in birth again until Christ be formed in you. I travel in birth again and again and again until, until Christ be formed in you. So bringing forth a child into this world, either spiritual child as you go for evangelism, all right, is not enough. Or giving birth to a child as the father, as the mother, is not enough to bring a child in the world. It's not enough. You are to be the intercessor of that child. You are to be the prophet of that child. Say, my little children of whom I travel in birth, again, I travel to give birth to you physically, all right? I travel again until Christ is formed in you. Look at the last verse, verse 20, verse 20. My goodness. Thank you, Jesus. He said, I desire to be present with you now and to change my voice for I, I stand in doubt of you. Now, notice that this is children, so what he is hearing is giving him concern. What he is perceiving is giving him concern. Say, I'm coming because I'm, I'm beginning to doubt that something is not right is happening around you. What I'm perceiving, I'm hearing, I don't want it. I'm coming with a stern face and voice because you can miss it. Others can miss it, not you, not you, my daughter, not you, my son. You can't miss it. Your destiny is so expensive, it's so rich, so robust, you can't squander it. And I won't let you squander it. That's why I will travel in bed for you again. So... I want to, what's my prayer? Number one, Lord, let Christ be fully formed in each of these children. Let Christ be fully formed in them. Number two, Lord, give me the capacity, the patience to travel in birth again for them until the day my soul will spill over to eternity. I continue to travel for them. Shall we begin to pray that Christ be formed in our children? That's my last prayer because of time. My God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come, I come before your throne, Father, this morning. That oh, morning. oh, Father, I will continue to pray. I will continue, Father, in the name of Jesus, until Christ is born in my children's lives. In the name of Jesus, Christ Amen and amen. Father, I pray for grace upon every woman here, upon every father here, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be grace to travel again, to travel again until the fullness of Christ takes shape in the life of our sons and daughters in the name of Jesus Christ. Give up the grace to travel until Christ will confidently say about each of our sons and daughters, this is my belief. Was to hold the forth until that become the testimony of each those of those boys and dear giving unto us in this life. Fight not for them. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.